What I have here is, I would say a draft document, something that I use to create carousels and stuff like that. Nothing fancy really. Okay, so the way you access page numbers is simply by clicking on the text button right here in the side panel, in the object panel. So text and dynamic text should be right here. So click on that and you should get to this menu. So we have a few different settings right here we can play with. The first one is the format. Okay, so you have the choice between three different types of formats formatting for your page numbers. You can have the numbers only, which will look just like one, two, three, etc. You can have the numbers plus the name page or page one, page two. So it would look something like this, page one. Again, you could choose the last option, page X out of Y. So it would look like this, page one of 25. Let's move on to the second setting right here, show numbers on. So you can show these page numbers on all of your pages. By default, that's what's going to be selected right here all pages or you can deselect some of the pages it doesn't mean the numbering will start at the first ticked box and the last button that you have here is to apply properties to all pages so let me show you a cool trick that I figured once you have decided on the formatting and which pages okay you click done I'm gonna start tweaking this now because you see this page number is pretty normal but I can edit that all right so this is my formatting I'm pretty sure no one wants a page number like this. But what I want to show you is that you can apply properties to all pages now. Now, if you regret having so such like horrendous page numbers like I just created, you can always come back to the text button, page numbers, and remove all page numbers. Let's say you want to add pages. So this is page six, but if I add a page right here between five and six, now page six becomes page seven. That's why they're called dynamic.